All right, so let's talk about aromatic compounds. Um, aromatic compounds are compounds containing benzene as part of its structure. And actually, as you might um, think, aromatic compounds actually are exactly um, that, aromatic, meaning that they have an aroma, a scent to them. Um, and so we're going to call them aromatic. They might have the scent of like different fruits or perfumes are very aromatic. Um, and before they even understood the structure of it, they would call it aromatic because they had this like great scent along with it. Um, so there was this one... Um, one structure that always came up when dealing with aromatic structures, and that is the structure of benzene. And um, it was first isolated by Faraday in 1825 uh, from coal. And so he discovered this compound. It was very unreactive, a very stable, very stable structure. And um, they actually analyzed it and found it to be C6H6. Um, they, they were able to find the molecular structure of this. However, they were unable to find like what it actually looked like, like how it looked like in a structural form. So um, several years later, several decades later, uh, they, they came up with this formula. And this is C6H6, and this was suggested in 1860. However, this was actually not, um, they weren't satisfied with this as being the structure, and they weren't able to check it either. And the reason they weren't satisfied with it is because they knew that this structure, benzene, was very unreactive. Um, and, it, <clears throat> and this has very um, dense electron electron dense places within its structure, meaning that it has a very, lots of sites where actually reactions will take place, as we learned about when you're dealing when you're talking about alkenes or alkynes. And so they have very electron dense areas, so this is very actually highly reactive. And not only that, this behaves, this structure behaves as other as other um, alkanes do. But this did not. This didn't behave as alkenes, as, as the alkenes do. So they knew they had to scratch that. So even like a, a couple of years later, this guy, um, Kekule, actually had what he refers to as a dream. And while he was falling asleep one night, he was thinking of um, just different structures and how this could be. And this actually popped up in his head. And it was a cyclical structure, um, having all the double bonds in every other carbon. And it actually fit. But the only problem with this, and this actually was accepted for a number of years, um, but this was still highly reactive and they weren't quite satisfied with it, but it actually fulfilled a lot of other things that they were looking for when trying to figure out the structure of benzene, which is the backbone of all these aromatic compounds. So um, Pauling was doing other things within chemistry and he um, actually discovered in, 1930, in 1930s, he proposed this idea of hybrid orbitals um, and resonance structures. And resonance structures are when electrons are actually located, are actually not fixed, they're, um, they're actually delocalized amongst the, um, amongst the structure. And so he actually took that, that idea and put it towards benzene. And so instead of, um, I'm gonna actually draw this out for you, instead of it being a fixed structure, where it looks like that, what he's going to do is he's going to delocalize those and actually make it so this goes here, this goes here, and this goes here. And so it's actually what's happening is this double bond is actually switching around and constantly circling around this. So if you put this on a flat surface instead of on the board, if you put this on a flat surface, the electrons are continuously uh, floating on top, not having a particular home. So each carbon atom is not necessarily having its own electrons. They're actually sharing all of the, the um, valence electrons amongst all the six carbons, making, a, making the, um, this ring-like structure. And that's what we're going we're gonna to use a circle to denote that, that, that they're delocalized. So this is actually the true structure of benzene, the backbone of all aromatic compounds. Um, all right, so let's look at some examples of some aromatic compounds that you, uh, that you might come across. Um, so we have naphthalene, which is two benzene structures fused together, and this is what is used in mothballs. If you've ever had mothballs, they actually do give off a funny scent, and they actually are used to kill um, different bugs within and preserve different clothing structures. Um, so this is a structure that was within, within the active ingredient in mothballs. Then we have p xylene, which looks very, which looks like this, um, and you do name them the benzene or aromatic structures the same exact way you'd, you'd name anything else. So you'd want to give um, the uh, substituent groups the numbers uh, appropriately. So this would be one, two, three, uh, one, six. Actually, this should be one, four, not one, six. So this is carbon one, two, three, four. Dimethyl benzene two methyls and it's a benzene ring. So it's actually named uh, the same way you would name any other kind of alkene. 
And then there's this structure here, it's benzopyrene, this is used in, in, chem, in chimney soot, and actually benzenes are extremely uh, carc carcinogenic, um, and so you might want to, they were used quite often, and sometimes, not all benzenes are like this, not all aromatic compounds are carcinogenic, but benzene do, benzenes do have a rep reputation of uh, being carcinogenic or creating cancer, being the cause of cancer within humans and animals. Um, so this, these are, this is the basic backbone of all aromatic compounds is benzene, very important structure.